Okay, what are we looking at today? So we're at the Gospels. Matthew, number 40. Mark, 41. Luke, 42. 43 is John. So I've just named it the Gospels today because there are miracles of Jesus all throughout the Gospels. All four of them have miracles that Jesus did when he was here. So remember 40? We looked at 40 and 42 last week at the birth of Jesus. 41 and 43 is Mark and John. And these are known as the Gospels. Why are they called the Gospels? Because they are the good news. All right. You can ask me a bit later, Simon. And we'll go through this first. So we're looking at the miracles of Jesus. So when Jesus came, remember John the Baptist came before Jesus? And then Jesus was born. And we learned about that last week. And then when Jesus started his ministry after he was baptized by John he started to do a lot of miracles so i want to show you some of the pictures that people have drawn of some of the miracles that jesus performed when he was here he healed like we sang in the song he heals the sick right he caused the blind to see and he made the lame to walk again well this is a man that was sick with the palsy and jesus was preaching and healing so many people in this house that they couldn't get to him in the house. So you know what they did when they couldn't get to him? They climbed up onto the roof. They opened up the tiles in the roof. And then they let their friend down through the roof to, to try and get him to Jesus. So this is him being let down in the roof. So they were really determined. They were good friends, weren't they? They're such good friends that when they couldn't get to Jesus, and they carried their friend and then they let him down through the roof to try and get him healed because Jesus was healing a lot of people. You know, Jesus' power to heal when he was here was so strong that sometimes you just even just had to touch him. You just had to touch his clothing and you could get healed. There was a story of a woman that had an issue with blood. So there was a, there was a problem with her bleeding and she wouldn't stop bleeding. And she came and she said, oh, if I just can just touch the hem of his garment, I'll be made whole. So she had great faith that Jesus could heal her and he could when he was on the earth. He physically healed many people that were sick and she just touched his clothing and she was healed. Isn't that amazing? This is a man that was lame. He couldn't walk. And this was a, a pool that was a supernatural pool. Every now and then an angel would come and stir up the water and whoever could get into the water first when the angel stirred up the water, they would be healed of whatever problem they had. But this man, because every time the angel came down and stirred up the water, because he was lame, he couldn't get in there. And he says, I've got nobody to carry me in there. But then when Jesus saw him, he came and, and healed him. And he said, rise up and walk. And he was able to walk, his, his legs healed. So that's why you know, we sing about, he made the lame to walk again. What else? He caused the blind to see. So you see how we're singing this song? It's reminding us about the miracles that Jesus did. So not only the lame man, but the blind. You know, one blind man, he, he spat in his hands, he made some clay of the dirt, and he put it on his eyes. And then the man went to go wash his eyes, and he could, he could see. Man, this is a, these are amazing miracles, you know. Uh, when, when somebody is born blind and then they're cured of that blindness, this is not something that happens every day. So this is special miracles that Jesus did to prove his deity and prove that he was the Son of God when he came to this earth. Look at what it says in Matthew chapter 8, verse 17. Why was Jesus doing all these miracles? That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by... Isaiah the prophet. Who's Isaiah? That's Isaiah. Remember we learned about Isaiah the prophet a while back? Saying himself took our infirmities and bear our sicknesses. So you see how it was prophesied from the Old Testament. The prophets would preach about Jesus, telling them that when Jesus would come, he would actually heal people from their sicknesses and from their infirmities. But not only did Jesus heal people, not only did he make the lame to walk again and cause the blind to see, a bit afterwards, please. He also did a lot of other miracles. One miracle he did is he walked on water. I don't know if you ever tried to walk on water. You know, when you step on water, what happens? You sink into the water. But this is a miracle that 
the, the disciples were toiling and rowing on the sea and Jesus actually came to them walking on the water. And not only that, he allowed Peter to get out of the boat and walk on the water to him. So these are some amazing miracles that Jesus did. Not only did he do things like walk on water, these miraculous things that he did, he also raised people from the dead. You know what I mean? When somebody dies, but then he brought them back to life again. He did that three times. One time was Jairus' daughter. When she came in, she, was, she had died, and he came in, and he took her hand and rose up, and then she rose up and ministered to them. Another one was the widow's son in Nain. Right? She, was the, she had only one son. She was a widow. That means her husband had died, and he was her only son. He's an older man, and they were carrying him out his dead body, they were carrying him out and Jesus came and touched him and then he rose up and came back to life. It was a miracle. The last one, the third one that Jesus did, he rose people from the dead when he was here, was Lazarus. You guys remember the story of Mary, Martha and Lazarus? Right? Lazarus, he had heard that he was sick and then Lazarus had died but then Jesus didn't come to the town or that he was sick didn't come to the town until three days later so by the time he had got to the town Lazarus was already dead for a number of days already so when Jesus said hey I want you to roll away the stone they say well don't roll away the stone because it's already been three or four uh, I can't remember three or four days and he's gonna stink you know because when you when you die your body's not alive anymore it starts to decompose and it starts to rot and gets very smelly and he tells them to roll away the stone and then he says into the tomb, Lazarus, come forth. And Lazarus, he's been bound with all the cloths, the grave cloths. He, he comes out wrapped in all the grave cloths and comes out of the tomb. Amazing miracle that Jesus rose these people or raised these people from the dead. And this is in John 11. And look at what he says here. John eleven twenty six and whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? Do we believe that Jesus has the power to make people rise again from the dead? All right, let's read this one together. We'll read this one together. John chapter eleven, verse twenty six, and whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die, believest thou this. Do you believe that? So why did Jesus do all these miracles? Why did Jesus raise people from the dead? Well, why do you think, Simon? To prove that he was the Son of God. Yeah, that's right. To prove he was the Son of God. And what was the Son of God going to do when he came? He died for our sins, didn't he? Because we have an illness. We have an infirmity. It's called sin. Sin is when we break God's commandments. Right? But Jesus not only can heal us from the sin, he can raise us from the dead, both spiritually and one day physically. And how did he do that? By dying for us on the cross. So while Jesus came here, he physically healed people of physical sicknesses and he physically rose people from the dead to show that also spiritually, he heals our sicknesses, our sins, and he raises us spiritually from the dead. But what do we have to do? Whosoever liveth, that's us, and believeth in me shall never die. Do you believe this? This is what we have to believe in order to be saved. You know? And once we believe, we call upon the Lord. We call upon him, he will save us. Okay, I hope you learned something now. Now when you think about the song, He's Able, now you're going to think about the miracles, all the miracles that Jesus did. And that was, just, that was just some of the examples in the Bible. If you read through the Gospels, you read a lot more miracles that Jesus did. Okay?